The Philippines national hero, Jose Rizal, gave Manila the title Pearl of the Orient Seas. This northern metropolis of the Philippines sits nestled within the natural harbor of Manila Bay and is an economic gateway for both international and domestic business. Come join me and my stepdaughter Shanzi as we explore Manila, the Pearl of the Orient. Mabuhay! Welcome to Philippintastic. My name is Kev, and I'm an American expat living in the Philippines. If you're interested in learning more about the Philippines from an expat point of view, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified about more informative and mediocre entertainment once or twice each week. In the Philippines, scenes of beach life with white sands and blue waters tend to outshadow the country's cities and skylines. As most of the country is rapidly developing, one city stands out among all the others as a mecca for tourism, food, shopping, and more. The capital city of Manila. Last week, my stepdaughter Shanzi and I traveled to visit the bustling metro and experience a fraction of what the city has to offer tourists. Manila has a rich and unique history. The city was founded in 1571 by Spanish conquistador Miguel Lopez de Legazpi. The Spanish used the area as a shipping hub and Manila quickly became one of the world's global cities. The Philippines became a major epicenter of economic activity ranging from shipping, industrial, commercial, fishing, aquaculture, and tourism. It is no surprise that the area was dubbed the title Metro Manila in 1975 and declared the nation's capital. Upon its initial conception, Metro Manila consisted of four cities and 14 municipalities. Most of the country, Manila's climate has a tropical wet and dry season. Average temperatures can range from the lower 70s to the mid or upper 90s. However, the sometimes intense sunshine and sticky humidity can make any daytime outdoor excursion uncomfortable. It's best to enjoy the outdoors either in the early mornings or in the evenings. If you're searching for cooler weather, I suggest traveling to mountainous areas like Baguio or Tagatai, which are already on my ever-growing bucket list of places to go. Shanti and I departed from Iloilo late on a weeknight, and Iloilo Airport isn't exactly a world-class facility. Our terminal seemed a bit undercared for as the television didn't have a signal, and the overhead speakers made announcements extremely difficult to understand. It felt like Ilo Ilo Airport was one tweak away from either being a quality airport or a third-rate techno club. excitement and anticipation grew. Uh, this was Shanzi's first time on a plane, so it was a momentous occasion for her embarking into the world of aviated travel. After landing in Manila, we caught a taxi to our hotel in Makati called Prince Plaza 2. The hotel name should have been Popper's Palace. This, this is the mirror dimension from the Bruce Lee movie, Enter the Dragon. Up here on the 21st floor, straight drop down. Usually these places have uh, like safety netting or safety bars, but apparently if you fall out the window, it's your own fault. The 
interior looks dated by several decades. The bed sheets and the mattress were old, and the pillows smelled musty. We brought food to the room for our dinner, and there were ants everywhere within an hour, on the 21st floor. And there was no water in the kitchen faucet. I also think I saw a cockroach trying to steal my watch. Hi, how are you? Plus, there was a fluorescent light that blinked on and off the entire night, even after turning the power off. So we both kept waiting for some paranormal happening. hotel like I said is a little bit disappointing not as nice as I was expecting but first day in Manila we decided to have lunch at one of my favorite Western food shops and saw some old friends then we used our grab app to magically whisk or I should say crawl as the traffic in Manila is horrendous Crawl us away to one of the most popular shopping centers in the Philippines, the Mall of Asia, otherwise known as the SM MOA. Opened in 2006, the MOA consists of four main shopping buildings. catering to retailers of clothing, food, jewelry, electronics, and more. For entertainment, Moviegoers will find 16 cinemas to view the latest releases. And music lovers can check the schedule at the Music Hall for events and concerts. If you're looking for more to do than just mall walk, there's also an SM bowling, an Olympic size skating rink, and outside on the Esplanade, By the Bay Amusement Park offers rides for both young and old alike. Bay serves as a historic battle site in which the U.S. Navy defeated the Spanish in 1898 and was a strategic port during World War II. It is also considered the heart of Metro Manila as well as the Philippines, as the steady importing and exporting of international goods keeps the pulse of the Philippines economy beating strong. But the heavily used waterways took its toll on the marine life and the quality of the local water. So much, in fact, the Philippines government took action and began a rehabilitation project in 2019, with a history that includes 12 oil spills and the detection of 16 pesticides. Could very well be decades before someone goes swimming in the bay again. Governmental efforts appear to be paying off as the quality of the water has improved and sea life is slowly returning to the coastline. As the capital of the nation, the city serves as a shining example of development and commerce with its ever-growing skyline of high-rise buildings. Anyways, thanks for joining us on part one of Philippintastic in Manila. 
Next week in part two, we'll take a look at the walled city of Intramuros. We'll also go to Manila Zoological and Botanical Gardens to see how the renovations are going. Just want to thank you guys for watching. Do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe, and the bell so you won't miss out on any more mediocre entertainment. Salamat. Thank you all so much uh, for subscribing to my channel. Um, that last that last video on uh, Thailand versus Philippines uh, was amazing. I was blown away by how many people watched that. So uh, I really appreciate the, your viewership and thank you for subscribing. And it really pushes me to make the quality of my content better. So uh, you guys can expect to have more information and more mediocre entertainment in your future. But thank you again. Salamat.